Hello, Lifehouse family. Uh, my name is Ricky, Ricky Gavin. And today I'm privileged to share with you uh, all on uh, Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. Um, this is a piece of scripture that spoke to me um, in a lot of ways because just going back a little bit, when I when I first came to Lifehouse three months ago, uh, I felt that I needed a place where I can feel God's presence. And with this series, with everything that's happening so far, I feel like really God put me in this place for a good reason. Um, so this uh, this part of uh, scripture talks about, you know, a place for God's presence, a place where you can feel God's uh, presence, a place where you can grow, a place where you can worship and learn and have a really big uh, community impact uh, in Jesus name. So first of all, before we go too far, let me just pray. Um uh, Father, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you for everything that you do. I just pray that you feel all of us with your, pow uh, with your power, the power of the Holy Spirit, that you lead us uh, uh, and you help us grow. And you feel the uh, Lifehouse campus with your presence, with your power. And let us lean on you and then not lean on our own understanding. And thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for what you're doing and what you're yet to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, one other thing I just want to do is just read from the scripture. Uh, uh, Isaiah 61, um, 1 to 3. All right. Uh, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bite up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners, to, put, uh, to proclaim favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of the Lord. to comfort all who mourn, to grant those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of the spirit of fainting. So they will be called ox of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. So I just want to encourage you all, uh, Lifehouse uh, family, that in everything we do, we should seek God, seek his presence. And if whatever we do does not bring Grow it to him. Then maybe we should rethink what what exactly it is that we're doing. Um, let's grow together. Let's grow in the spirit. Uh, let's uh, pray that life house be the light that everybody will look at the light that shines bright that everybody will look at and say, hey, I want to be a part of that. Thank you.